You can tell a box set's annoying when you got to start wearing your gloves again. Now, I recently finished watching this for the first time. I started watching it last year uh, in 2021. I think I watched the first 17 episodes uh, in about three days. And I was like, oh, shit, really short show. I can binge all that. Uh, and then I just didn't watch any more of it. I don't know what happened. I think I just started watching The Sopranos and then just just watch that instead. I don't know. Maybe it was at the end of my phase last year of watching a lot of TV shows. But nevertheless, I watched this Neon Genesis Evangelion, or Evangelion. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is the newly released box set. I ordered it from Amazon. This is the Australian version. I don't know if it's region... What region code is it? It is region B. It comes with a little piece of paper, uh, which is nice. Um, which details a lot of stuff, obviously. I believe this has already come out in the uh, UK. But you've got 11 Blu-rays. Uh, you've got the whole entire show, plus uh, the two movies. So the original release stuff. It doesn't come with the, uh, you know, 1.0 and 2.22 and all that stuff, which I'm slowly watching on Amazon. I've still got the third and fourth movie to go. Uh, but yes, I, I basically binged the second half of the show and the two movies all in two days uh, at the start of the year because I had a whole day to myself and, and like a whole week to myself. I'm like, Bye, why not? I haven't finished this yet. Um, so it does come with uh, a 40-page booklet, eight art cards, which I will obviously delve into. Uh, on the disc, it's really weird uh, how they've set this up. You've got on-disc series... Uh, Animation collect, animatic collection, TV commercials, TV premiere promos, Japanese voice auditions, Genesis 0.0 in the beginning, image board collection, Japanese Blu-ray box commercial, music videos, The Cruel Angels, Thesis, uh, Genesis 0.0, The Light from the Darkness, on disc, The End of Evangelion, uh, or Evangelion, uh, deleted live action scene, uh, making of live action scene, theatrical teaser, theatrical trailer, TV spots, final scene, alternate take, full song, Musande Hirate. Hi uh, a song. They've got a full song. I can't pronounce that second word. Hirate. I don't know. Uh, episode 25 Love is Destructive, partial animatic. Uh, music videos for Soul's Refrain, Yoko Takahashi. Uh, Thanatos, If I Can't Be Yours, Lauren and Mash, Armageddon, Shiro Sagish, Sagisu, and Memories of Heaven slash, uh, Megumi Haya, sub, uh, Haya Shibara. Uh, Collector's Edition Bonus Classic Dub and Subversions. That's the really interesting part because it has, like, a redub, I think, which I... Didn't know existed. I don't know what version I watched on Netflix, so I'm really interested to see this version in particular, also because this has the original end credit song, which Netflix doesn't do. Um, uh, and it has uh, it's, uh, image quality. Uh, it, so yes, it comes with the classic and, uh, classic dub and sub versions. It contains all 26 episodes plus two films. Image is 4x3 for the series. That's how it was made. And 16x9 for the films. So widescreen. Uh, Japanese 5.1, Japanese 2.0, English 5.1, and English 2.0. I imagine that's probably like the classic version is the 2.0, and the redone version is 5.0, so they've just 5.1, so they've just remastered the audio, which is, again, an interesting choice. You don't really need to, like, narrow it. I don't know the specifics of it, but I'd imagine it's like, reading it, you'd look at it and be like, okay, why can't they just have you know, the class, both dubs on, and both subs on each, on each disc, like, why do they have to separate it, I don't know, I don't know, uh, yeah, it's a long run time, so let's, let's, let's look at the box set here, okay, so first up, uh, the outer package, so I will note, uh, it is very, very prone to all kinds of heat residue, so, uh, fingerprint magnet is the least of your concerns. Actually, that's the most of your concerns. I, I, I feel so sorry for anyone who doesn't have gloves, because I took this out of its shrink wrap, and I was looking at it, and then I realized, oh, 
Like, it might not look that bad on, on, on the back, but then you've got the spine. And then under the light, it looks a little, a little not great. I think it fades after a small period of time. It's like my Godzilla book. I've got another some other stuff with this design. But you look at the back and it's like, oh, no. You know, it's really hard to get rid of this kind of stuff. So I don't know what the hell to do about that. If you know how the hell I can fix this, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll just have to keep using the fucking gloves. Uh, nothing on the top and just conversion on the base, which I kind of like the simplicity of the design. Like, it's iconic imagery for the show. I kind of prefer it over, and I like the nerve on the back, I kind of prefer it over it being over the top. Oh, look at all the characters and stuff like that. Like, And this is similar to, you can't, it's slightly on screen, the... Ghost in the Shell limited edition standalone complex series as well uh, in terms of design, except this is in separate cases. So it's just an empty box, but it's hard cardboard. I've got a minor dent on the top corner there. Um, but yeah, and obviously you can get some fingerprints on the top as well. I don't know if I blame Amazon or if I just blame the packaging. I don't care. Like, the guy who delivered it seemed nice, so I don't blame him. Because, let's be fair, uh, I'll, I'll delve into the booklet and the images later, because I'll get into the cases first. But you've got three cases. Uh, you start with, of all of them, you start with 1.0, or just number one. You got the green and purple colors. You got the purple on the back. Uh, nice fit of a case. It's a standard Blu-ray case for Australia, especially. Uh, this is the series end bonus. It does not detail on the back as to what the hell is in it. So let's open it up. Uh, first thing I will note: it did come in damaged. So it came. There's a whole plastic chunk here. Uh, every single case except for the third case, because they only have one disc in it, had that broken off and a little sn snipped off from the top there. So uh, I don't know how well you can see it from the angle, but there is a definite... Like, it's still got something there, but this happened on both of them. It's just how it happened. Uh, this has disc one, which has episodes one through seven. Uh, disc two has episodes eight through... 14. Disc 3 has episodes 15 through to 20 plus bonus content. Disc 4, and yes they are numbered, uh, has episodes 21 through to the finale, so 26. It just says finale, it doesn't say episode 26, uh, plus bonus content. And it has uh, disc 5 which has uh, Evangelion Death True Squared and uh, the end of Evangelion plus bonus content. I imagine that this is the version of them that I've already seen from Netflix. Sorry about the color on the image. I don't know why it does that. So that that seemed pretty standard when I opened that up and I looked at it. I'm like, okay, that's cool. That works. And then you get to the second set, which is just called number two. Uh, I believe these are all the, the colors of the Evas. Um, if I'm not wrong, you got Shinji's. You got. Uh, uh, Ray is the next one, I believe. This one, I can oh, never remember what the German girl's name is. How do I not remember what her goddamn name is? That's on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm never great with that many names. I remember Ray and Shinji. I don't remember that many other names, but I remember talking to my mate about this show because he's he watched it all over like a long period of time and then he rewatched it because of the movies. But then I'm like, he knows all the names off by heart. I'm like, how do you know all these names? I just, I'm just not good with the character names. It's not me, wholeheartedly. But still, this is basically the same as uh, the sign, just different color. It does say bonus series and movies classic version. So I'd imagine this is standard broadcast or something, maybe the 2.0. I will take a look into it and see if I can find any more details on the specs, but I don't really know if I'm gonna add them to the video in terms of me looking through it, but I'll take a look. Um, so this number six, bonus content, uh, end of Evangelion video format version. So that's already a different version of the film. Uh, episode 25, Love is Destructed, and one more final, I Need You. Uh, I don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't know if that means that they've like redone the whole like last two episodes or something. So I'm very, very curious to see what that is, because basically, I think... 
Well, End of Evangelion rewrites the last two episodes of the show anyway, so... Yeah. Do I like that? I don't mind. I like the last two. I like the show. I like how it ends. It's very... It's, it's very unique. And I understand why so many people didn't like it. But I also do really like End of Evangelion. Because it's like, it's also what you want. It's what the fans wanted. Except for the really creepy start of the film. But that's fine. But the rest of it, the the insanity of it, it's, it's crazy stuff. Disc 7 has episodes 1 through 7 with the classic dub slash sub. Disc number 8 has the classic dub slash sub for episodes 8 through to 14. Disc 9, classic dub slash sub for episode 15 through to 20. And uh, disc 10 is classic dub slash sub for episodes 21 through to the uh, finale. So, yeah. Interesting. And then on the disc front, the lightest one is number zero. Uh, this one is just called additional bonus. And it's just got one disc. Disc 11, which I, I kind of feel like they could have probably put this in for it's like into case number two, realistically, but at the same time, I don't mind, you know, obviously you get the different colors and, you know, if you have prefer preferred characters and whatever. Um, I don't know why it's number zero is at the end. It's kind of weird. But this is disc number 11, which is End of Evangelion and Evangelion True Death Squared, which is the classic dub slash sub version. So, yeah, interesting stuff. Next up, you get the art cards, which I really like how they've done this, because I looked at the original, and I'm like, how does it come out? And then I realized it's at the top, and it slides out so perfectly. I'm like, that's such a good design. It's a pretty strong fit, so it doesn't get crushed in the box. Uh, and then you got your art cards. So you got yourself some Shinji. Uh, they're nice and reflective as well, so, you know, good quality stuff. Uh, just says not for reprint and stuff, some copyright details. You got Ray. Uh, is it Asuka? It might be. Maybe that's the, maybe that's her, no, I don't know. Either way, you got characters. Yeah, I, I, I like how they've gone for the, like, iconic kind of fits, nice style as well. So, really nice artwork. I love, too, how they've got him. I, I know that he's only in, like, the last three episodes, but he became such a weird fan favorite. And, of course, the dad in probably a very iconic image I've seen before. But, yeah. Yeah, it's it's cool. I, I, I can understand if people are disappointed there's no images of, like, the Evas or anything, which, yeah, I can, I can understand that. But at the same time, for it being these character cards in particular... They're really nicely designed. They're the kind of ones that you'd probably like put in a frame and just like have on your wall and be like, look at how cool these are, you know. And last but not least, the booklet, which simply just has the title of the book of the film. Uh, this one goes into detail about the disc contents. It tells you what's on every single disc from disc. Well, the first disc is just the episodes. First, three di first two discs is just episodes. Third disc has a bunch of bonus features. Uh, I believe most discs have a 30-second preview of the next episode. Um, disc 4 has some bonus features. Disc 5 is the movie. So, of course, you get a lot of bonus features there. Disc 6 uh, is just a different version of the film and two other episodes. And then you get the classic versions, and it's basically the same... Uh, disc 7, 8, 9, and 10, and 11 have no noted special features. So most of the bonus features are on three different discs, disc 3, 4, and 5. So, yeah. Uh, and then you got this, some artwork, I guess. Special contents, 1995 to 2015. Uh, you got sound contents, so you got bonus track. You got more bonus contents. This tells you what... See, this actually does specify what's on each and every other disc. From disc 1 through 5, you've got 30-second previews. You've got collection TV spots and all this other stuff. A lot of, like, stuff that's mentioned on, on that piece of paper from the start of the video. And then more stuff for disc 4, disc 5, I believe. Yeah, that's all disc 5. Disc 6 and disc 7 to 11. So, yeah. Then you've got Encyclopedia. 1996 to 1998, so the show and the movie, um, and then it goes through all of the 
the angels, which is really cool. Uh, plus the Evas as well. It just goes through design images, uh, talks about what they're like, what they're, uh, what happens in, like, basically for each of their appearance and stuff. Uh, it's got a lot of pages of it. I'm obviously not going to read through it currently, like, on screen or anything, to give you a better detail of what you get, but... Like, for example, for Eva D-Type Appearance Episode 10, the basic tactic for Eva had been to intercept angels in Tokyo 3. However, due to the unpredictable manifestation and abilities of angels, Eva was required to be more uh, versatile as a weapon. For that purpose, various uh, load-bearing one letter of the alphabet... Oh, yeah, various loads bearing one letter of the alphabet have been deployed. So this just kind of... I think it's like a synopsis of the episodes. It actually kind of looks like it. Is it? I think it is. Yeah, shit, I think it is. It's totally a synopsis of the episodes. Anyway, it's uh, got a lot of pages for that kind of stuff. I, I like how they call it the encyclopedia. Um goes all the way to telling you about episode 25 and 24, and I think that's all. Oh, uh, episode 25, Lilith. Yeah, it does tell you some stuff, but yeah, that's basically it. So, yeah. As an overall, what do I think of this set? Um, I think it's pretty rad. I don't, again, my only dislike is the fact of the fingerprint magnet, which you know, is kind of annoying, especially because it's a, it's a thick black, so, and, but I really think that the colours pop as a box set, I think it works, I like the design uh, format, I can understand people not liking it as much, um, <sighs> yeah, it kind of rubs off, <sighs> yeah, that, that works, weirdly, but yeah, you get one fingerprint on one area, then you get another, it's just, it's just kind of a nightmare, so, yeah, uh, definitely worth getting if you can. JB Hi-Fi sold out pretty uh, quickly once it finally did get released. Uh, I'm kind of thankful I didn't order because I was going to pick it up in person. And for the whole week that it was officially released at JB Hi-Fi, it just wasn't on shelves. It was like out of stock, waiting for stock to come in, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, okay. But then Amazon was like, hey, you're eligible for this $10 voucher. And I realized, and I like just Googled Evangelion and it was like the whole, this whole box set came up for the same price that they had at JB Hi-Fi, but I had Prime. So I'm like, hey, I can get it for 10 bucks cheaper. So I got it for 149 instead of 159 So, and for the price, I think it's pretty worth it. I mean, anime is usually pretty expensive, but for such a classic anime and it comes with both movies, I know one's a recap, but it does come with the movies. It comes with alternate versions of all the episodes, a buttload of special features, the art cards, the booklet. It's a really nice set. So as an overall, I definitely recommend it uh, if you can get your hands on it. Um, surprisingly not easy, apparently. So there is an individual version which comes with just the TV show. I don't know if it comes with the, like, the secondary versions of those episodes with the classic dub and sub. But... Uh, I didn't look into that because I didn't bother to buy it. It was like 90 bucks for that. I'm like, I don't need that. I want the movie. <laughs> I want the whole set. So I got the whole set. Anyway, that's all for now. If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, so, uh, check out more content on my channel where I do other unboxings or just display, showcase what I've got on the shelf. See you next time. Adios.